Okay, in this video we're going to be going over a few simple calculations for calculating the magnetic from a current carrying wire. And we're going to calculate the magnetic field first, and then we'll calculate the current. And then the third uh, example will calculate the radius. So let's get started. The first one is, let's just say we have our current carrying wire. And we have a current of 0 0.5 amperes. We're uh, 10 centimeters from the wire. We have our constant. And we want to know what is the magnetic field that's 10 centimeters away from the wire when we have a current of 0 0.5 amperes. And this is the equation we're going to use. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to plug the values in. So we have the magnetic field. B, B is a symbol for the magnetic field. And then we have our, our, uh, our constant, 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 uh, tesla meter ampere. And then we have the current, because that's 0 0.5 amperes. It's just the uh, mu naught times the current, and then we're just going to divide that by 2 times pi times 0 0.10 meters, because we got to change our centimeters into meters, based on this for the length is the meter, and that tells us that um, the magnetic field in this case, uh, when we're 10 centimeters away from a wire that has a 0 0.5 um, uh, ampere current in it, would be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 6 tesla. Now, a previous video, which you linked to in the upper right-hand corner of this video, I went through kind of more of an explanation about the current carrying wire and its magnetic field, and I had down that this was 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. That was actually incorrect. It should actually be 1.0 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, now, in the second example, we're going to be trying to figure out the current. If we know we have a magnetic field from that current carrying wire, and this is magnetic field is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 6 teslas, and let's just say we're 25 centimeters away from the wire. R is the distance from the wire out. because like the radius of that circular magnetic field. And we want to know what current would be needed. I said, I guess you could say what current would be needed to generate this magnetic field this distance away from that wire. We use the same equation, except we're going to um, rewrite the equation and solve it for the current. So what I'm going to do simply is I pretend like this is, or this is really up here. I'm going to do a little cross multiplication. So I get B times 2 pi R, cross multiply this way. And then if I cross multiply this way, then I just get that's mu zero times I, and then I'm looking for I, so I'm going to divide both sides of that equation by mu zero, and I get that I, the current, is equal to uh, the magnetic field B times 2 pi R, which is the radius of distance away from the wire, divided by mu zero. Okay, and simply now we're going to once again just plug the values in. So we have the current is equal to the magnetic field is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 6 teslas, uh, we have 2 times pi times 0 0.25 meters, because this is centimeters, and we've got to convert this to meters once again, that base unit in the metric system, divided by 4 times pi, or 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th tesla meter ampere. You can see our teslas cancel, our meters cancel, and we're left with amperes, and that's the unit for the current. And if we had uh, that magnetic field, and we're that distance away from the wire, then we would need a current uh, through that wire, which would be just about zero, not zero, I don't know where I get zero from, 4.38 amperes. All right, so that's example number two. And then for the third example, we're going to calculate the radius. Okay, so basically it comes down to if we have this current, uh, 5.25 amperes running through this wire, and we want to know where would we get where, what distance away from the wire would we get this magnetic field, which is 7.0, um, so just 7.0 microteslas, or 7 microteslas, okay? And we're going to use the same equation again. Now I'm going to rearrange the equation and solve for R. We're going to do the same first step. I'm going to multiply across my uh, equal sign there, do a little cross multiplication. I get that uh, magnetic field times 2 pi r is equal to, once again, mu 0 times i, multiply across, mu 0 and i. And now I'm going to be solving for r, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation, because r is over here, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 uh, b times 2 pi, and that's going to give me that r is equal to mu naught times i divided by the b, by the magnetic field strength, times 2 times pi. All right, and then once again, just plug those values in, and I get mu naught, which is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meter divided by ampere, or per ampere. 
And then we multiply that by I, which is the current, which is 5.25 amperes. And we're going to divide that by the magnetic field strength, which is 7.0 times 10 to the minus 6. Now, this is micro Tesla, so you got to put it in into Tesla's. Micro is 10 to the minus 6, so it's 7.0 times 10 to the minus 6. It's the same value as this. We just uh, you know, got rid of the micro symbol here and put 10 to the minus 6, because that is micro. And that's times 2 times pi. Right, you got to make sure you kind of use your uh, order of operations. You got to multiply this, and then you got to put this in parentheses, and then divide it into the upper value, and then the numerator, and then you get that the radius would be 0 0.15 meters, which you can leave it in meters, but sometimes I want to know what the centimeters would be, and since it's less than a meter and close to zero, we sometimes just say in centimeters, the radius would be 15 centimeters. Okay, so there you go. That's a quick video. I did three different examples for calculating magnetic field. We calculated magnetic field strength. We calculated the current and we calculated R. And I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice public comment in the comment section below. And don't forget that sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them how much you care. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.